So there's definitely been more uh, migrant families and children that have been arriving over the past few months. And really since April of last year, those numbers have steadily risen. Um, they are still below some of the, the, the numbers that we saw in 2019 when we had so many families and children arriving that Border Patrol was overwhelmed and they were forced to start releasing a lot of these families into the, the streets and the communities in Tucson and some of the other um, cities in southern Arizona. Um, it's not quite at that level, but you have to keep in mind that uh, one of the uh, one of the factors, you know, playing into all of this is COVID-19 and the fact that Border Patrol has reduced capacity at a lot of their holding facilities because of COVID-19 and maintaining some of those uh, social distancing guidelines. Last week in Douglas, Governor Ducey expressed concern that this was taking place in large part because of the Biden administration. But as we know, it happened under Obama and, of course, under President Trump. What does your work tell you about some of the trends you're seeing in overall migration patterns? So this is something that um, certainly, you know, is playing out again. We've had, you know, similar uh, surges in the number of migrants, you know, making their way to the border. Um, over the past few years, I spoke to uh, Yuma Mayor Doug Nichols uh, last week, and he mentioned that you know he sees this as a cyclical problem, and it's just a symptom of the immigration system being broken. And you know we had Biden and many of the top officials asking migrants to stay where they are and avoid coming to the border. However, you know that doesn't really recognize the fact that there are thousands of individuals who are already waiting in Mexican border cities or in or have been in transit for months and even years, um, you know, trying to trying to make their way to the United States. And so they they have continued to arrive here. And um, everyone that I've talked to essentially kind of expects and even more migrants to continue arriving here in the coming months. What's the strain going to be like on communities? I mean, you just returned from a trip to Yuma, Ajo and Gila Bend, where that community made headlines for declaring um, an emergency because they simply cannot sustain the number of people they're seeing arrive in their towns. Yes, this is an issue that many communities in Southern Arizona could potentially face. Border Patrol had been reaching out to them since about January, letting them know, warning them that you know if the numbers of apprehensions continue to rise, that they would start seeing uh, you know migrants released directly into their communities. And it really had them worried because Many of these small communities, for example, like Ajo and Gila Bend, are so small and so remote that they have very limited transportation options. Many times they don't have other services you know, to, to house migrants. They don't have shelters. Uh, in instances, they don't even have hospitals to be able to, to provide any sort of emergency treatment or COVID testing. And so that has become a big challenge. But a lot of the nonprofits have really stepped up to, to the plate here, both in Yuma and in, in locations like Ajo and Gila Bend, really providing the crux of the services there, including COVID-19 testing, ensuring that anybody who, who is released, you know, tests negative before they're able to move further into the, the interior of the United States. And of course, providing some of those vital services like food, uh, like shelter, if necessary. Are migrants still able to seek asylum? The, the short answer to that is yes. Uh, I mean, for the most part, it, it's still very limited. Uh, there is still not a lot of processing happening at the border. For example, a lot of the migrants that have been waiting in border cities like Nogales or San Luis Rio Colorado, um, they, they are still not able to present themselves at ports of entry and make their claims. However, we have seen uh, you know, more uh, Border Patrol start to process more individuals who were apprehended in between the ports of entry so it really varies uh, depending on, on the, the part of the border that you are at. Rafael Carranza joining us from Phoenix, the immigration reporter for the Arizona Republic. Thank you for your insight. Thank you for having me.